This is a photo that has created a lot of buzz on social media last night and all day today. Governor Doug Ducey wearing a pair of Nikes days after blasting the company for refusing to release a patriotic shoe. Our political editor, Dennis Welch, joining me now. No matter which side you fall in the story, whether you even think it's a story or whether it's not, I don't think many people can argue that the optics here is pretty bad. No, you know, and they're using words like irony, hypocrisy, some of those words being used to describe tonight of that picture of Ducey as his critics are wasting no time pouncing on the governor's fashion choices. It was the Coconino County Democrats that first tweeted out the image of our governor in those Nike shoes, along with the caption, wow, Doug Ducey standing on principle wearing his Nikes for the 4th of July. The governor's office quickly fired back with a snarky statement that reads in part, really? Yes, the governor owns Nikes. Stop the presses. But the story was about our flag and our founding. The governor didn't call for a boycott. He didn't even say the company wasn't welcome to do business in Arizona. But one Democratic consultant isn't buying that explanation. I think it's a further example that, again, this was a decision made completely on political grounds, not on any real merit. And I wish he was concentrating on more important issues. Republican consultant Marcus Del Artino defended the governor, saying that this story is completely overblown. My point being, those shoes are not new. I don't no. think he gave them any new money. I think those shoes are holdovers from uh, quite some time ago. And the fate of that new Nike factory is still unclear. Following the governor's comments, the mayor of Goodyear said her city is still committed to the deal that would create over 500 jobs and spur hundreds of millions of dollars in economic activity. However, Nike was not as definitive, saying only that they were still committed to creating jobs. And I think there's other states out there that would love to see this factory. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the governor's defenders. There's a mm -hmm. lot of them out there on social media, taking away all the ones that's blaming the media, saying, look, this is not a story. What are those defenders uh, jumping to the defense of the governor. Well, saying. plenty of, uh, of his defenders out there on uh, social media right now saying that this is definitely not a story that we are over hyping this story here tonight. And they are saying and pointing to the fact um, that the governor wasn't calling for a boycott of Nike, that he was just disappointed uh, that they pulled those shoes that were uh, expected to go uh, you know, out to the public uh, this week. And again, pointing to that, po uh, that fact that the governor is making, yeah. his own press office is making and saying, look, this wasn't a boycott. This was just expressing his disappointment. But the governor of New Mexico said, hey, Nike, let's talk. Yeah, and also the governor of California is saying the same thing. It's like, hey, it's just, you know, I think he tweeted out, look, just the small jaunt from Arizona to California. So, you know, we've got to still see what the ramifications of all this and how it all shakes out in the, in the coming weeks. All right. Thanks, Dennis.